What's up guys and welcome back to another video from the Scalar Learning Channel and today we are talking about the SAT which of course has been cancelled by and large for many many students and in further news the next SAT date in May has also been cancelled. So what are you to do? We're going to go over all the major questions and quandaries about what to do in this time of crisis. The first question that people have been asking me is they either had a test date in March or this upcoming May and the test has been canceled. Where is our money? Good news is that the College Board has announced via email and through an article on CNN.com that they will be refunding everyone in full for those fees. So do not worry about the money. That should be the last thing that you should be worrying about you will get your money back eventually. The next question that people have been asking is now that their test dates have been canceled, will there be makeup dates? According to a representative from the College Board, they will indeed provide additional testing dates when feasible. So what does that mean in terms of a timeline? Well, again, we don't know for sure, but if I were a betting man, I would say that there are two prime times for makeup tests, and that would be in July, and then again, possibly in September. The reason why is there's usually no test offered in July so that's a great place to slide in an additional test date. The reason why I would say September is because there's usually an August test date and then an October test date. One in the middle of September would make perfect sense not only because there's a gap but also because that would still be early enough for students to use that score who are applying early to universities. Finally the question is what should you do in light of this information? Well, first and foremost, I wouldn't rely on these additional test dates being in July or September or otherwise. I would instead look at existing test dates that haven't been canceled and immediately register for a new one. Don't worry if your money hasn't been refunded yet, you will get it back. So I would straight away sign up for either June, August, or October, or maybe all three if you are planning to take the test multiple times. Last but not least, I wanna encourage you to continue studying. Just because things have been pushed back does not mean you should take your foot off the gas pedal. Instead, use this as an opportunity to double down on your studying and keep at it to improve your score as much as possible. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please click that like button. If you want to see more from the Scalar Learning Channel, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.